Welcome to another penetrating episode of Just the Tip, a short series of tech tips and tricks with me, Rogue FPV. With the release of KISS Ultra and the FETTECH G4 flight controllers, it seems many more of us beta flight users have been trying and moving over to KISS type flight control software. In this episode, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to dial in my rates with KISS after transitioning over from beta flight. If you're like me and you tried the rate calculator online and you felt the center stick response wasn't quite right or the max rate sort of felt off, this method might help you dial in your KISS rates in just three easy steps. So let's connect up to the GUI and jump right into the rates tab. So whether you fly the older Betaflight style rates or the newer actual rates, as long as you know your max rate for roll, pitch, and yaw, you're good to go. So all I did, guys, was set my RC rate to 1, the column on the left. And then I used the rate column to set my desired max rate for roll, pitch, and yaw. Now, as you can see on the chart and the little graphic, uh, my max rate on roll and pitch is right about 540. And my max rate on yaw is 680. So, spoiler! Um, once you have that, what I recommend and what I did is I set my RC curve, the column on the right, to zero. Uh, and that's pretty much like your expo in Betaflight. So starting at zero, what I did is just a couple of 30-second flights with a couple of slow figure eights, a couple of precision turns, and a couple of snap rolls. And then I just started to step up my RC curve in 0.1 increments until the center stick area and the transition area felt the way that I wanted. FYI, as you add more RC curve, your center stick area will get flatter and your overall curve will get sharper at the ends over here. But the max rate per axis will always remain the same, how, how you have it set with your rate column. That's the nice thing about this method and, and using the RC curve to adjust the center stick and the transition area. That's all there is to it, guys. It doesn't need to be difficult, you know? Like they said, keep it simple, stupid. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I get back to everybody. And if you're interested, check out my Betaflight 4.2 and 4.3 presets repo. I have a link down in the description. As always, if you found this content helpful, please like and subscribe for more. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.